Hey guys, what's going on? Tua Cruz here with another video here in Singapore. Today we're checking in at the Funan Shopping Mall in downtown Singapore and we're actually going to be doing a bike shop tour today. And today's shop tour we're going to be going to the Brompton store. They have a specialty Brompton shop that was opened a few years ago I believe. And this is really cool because I've never seen like a dedicated Brompton store before so we're going to go check it out. It's right here in the mall. And yeah, let's go on and see what they got inside here. So right away, we got a couple of different bikes on display. We got the C-Line, we've got the Special Edition, and you can see they've got a bunch of different bikes here along the wall. And yeah, Bromptons can fold down really small, really compact. So really great for people in Singapore where they have limited space for storing bikes. And I believe during the pandemic, there was a huge boom with folding bikes since they had the lockdown requirements and not many people could go outside other than for like running or for cycling. And so because of that, folding bikes became really popular because it was a easy way for people to start cycling and keep it stored in their apartments. So let's take a look at some of the different bikes here. And they also have a good variety of accessories here as well, I think. Also right here, we got one of the bikes on the trainer so you can test it out. So the C-Line here stands for the classic one. This is a full steel frame, I believe. This is one of the more common, more popular models. We've also got some other editions. We've got the special edition. The mid-range level uses a mix of different materials, so it'll have some titanium, I believe, on the rear triangle and on the front fork, so it reduces the weight quite a bit. And then there's the full titanium version, which is the more premium version. This one's using the extended seat post, so if you're a taller rider like myself, you can get the extended seat post and it can fit really tall riders. So if you're anything like six feet or taller, you wanna get the taller extended seat post. We've also got some different handlebar options. So we've got the low handlebar, if you want a more aggressive position, the middle handlebar. So I think that's what most people will get. And if you want an extra tall position, a sitting upright kind of position, you can go with the high handlebar. They also have the different saddle heights. Yeah, so for me, I go with the telescopic seat post, which is the tallest one but they have a bunch of different options here depending on your height. And also there's a couple of different gear options with the bike. So depending on if you're mostly riding flat terrain, you don't need many gears, or if you're doing a lot of hills, you can get up to the Explore range, the six speed. So yeah, a bunch of different variety and customizations. Of course, they got a bunch of different colors. I like this display here. We got a couple of the different frames and we got the more kind of like solid finishes here and also more of the glossy kind of finishes. I'm a big fan of the glossy finishes. Let me know what you guys think. What is your favorite Brompton color? And yeah, all the colors are kind of limited. Like they sell them maybe for a year or two before they rotate out to a different color. So hopefully you're lucky and you can find a color that you like that's in stock. They've had a huge increase in demand over the last few years. And let's take a look over here. This is the wall with all of the different bikes stored. So you can see this is how compact the bike will get when it's folded completely down. It's a three-way folding system. So the rear wheel folds underneath and then the rest of it folds over to the side with the handlebars dropping down. So we got some of the P line. This is the more performance line, which is a bit lighter than the classic design. You can see that this one is four speed, but about 9.7 kilograms for the weight. And then we got some of the C lines over here. This one uses a full steel frame. And so it'll be a little bit heavier than the other one, which has some mix of titanium parts. This is also the six speed, so it adds some extra weight, but all of them fold down to the same size. And yeah, just check this out. We got this full wall here, folding bikes for days, Bromptons for days. Very cool. Let's also take a look at some of the other accessories and parts here. So Brompton does have a lot of specialized parts. So if you ever need any upgrades, they'll likely have the parts that you need here. And they've also got some different tires. And oh, Brompton gloves. I didn't know they had these. These are pretty cool. We got some key holders, some other bags here. This is cute. So this will just hang right onto the handlebars. Some more bag options. And we've got some clothes over here. So yeah, in all the other, I've been to a couple other folding bike stores before, but they never had this variety of lineup. So I didn't even know Brompton had its own like clothing line. So we got some pants here, some jackets, some shirts, some socks. These socks look pretty cool. And we got the, the Brompton vest here. And the other nice thing with Brompton is the bag options. They have a bunch of different bag options for the front of the bike. And that mounting system is really convenient, really great for commuting, carrying all of your equipment, or even grocery shopping. They have some larger bags. And over here is really cool. Check this out. They got one of the older Bromptons here. 
I'm not even sure which model this is, but I think this must be one of the older, one of the original models. And you can see this thing has been used and loved. Just check this out. Really cool to see this in person. I wonder how many thousands of miles or kilometers this thing has had. And yeah, even the older edition has the front light here. Very cool. And check out this old school crank. And then the older style wheels back here. We've also got some brook saddles, some helmets. And then of course the other important thing with Brompton is it is a British brand. So all the frames are made in London, which is pretty rare nowadays for bike companies. Most of them are now made in the Asian factories. Over here we got some of the e-bike lines. So e-bikes also really popular here in Singapore. So yeah, we got a few of the e-bike lines on display here. And in addition, we got some, some more bags over here. So a bunch of different options, different sizes, different colors. So whatever kind of bag you want, I'm sure they'll have something for you. And they also got this flashy one. This one really stands out because the rest of them here are darker colors. This one's pretty cool. I'm a fan of flashy bags. Very cool. And over here, we got a nice timeline, uh, some of the historical moments throughout Brompton's history, starting around 1975 with the first designs, production starting in 1981, the first factory in 1988. And this is something I've always wanted to see, and that's the Brompton World Championship race. That looks like an awesome event. So hopefully one day we'll get a chance to check it out. And then one of the more recent changes in 2017, they started the electronic line. And in 2019, this shop opened the Brompton Junction store in Funan Mall in Singapore. So that's where we are now. All right, so that's it for the Brompton Junction shop tour. We're walking outside of the mall right now. And this is one other quick place I wanted to show you guys. They have this cool little area right outside the side of the mall here, which has some stands for your bike and they also have some tools for repairing. They also even have a shower. So if you cycle here, you have a place to park your bike. You can take a shower. They also have some tools so you can fix your bike, which I assume <laughs> someone is trying to do here. So let's check out what they got. We of course got the floor pump. We got some different tools attached here. So yeah, it looks like they got most of the common tools that you need to make any adjustments on your bike. And even though there's the shopping mall with plenty of food inside, They've also got some drinks here as well, some other drinks that are good for when you're outside exercising. We got some smart water, some vitamin water, and some energy drinks as well. The other cool thing right here, you'll see there's this little cycling path. So this is the way that you can enter off from the main road. Very cool. There might even be a few other places that I'm missing here, but overall, cool place to visit and check out if you're interested in some Brompton bikes, some folding bikes, or just it's even just a nice mall if you wanna come here and check out the mall. There's a bunch of cool places to get some good food and do some shopping. Anyway, we're gonna finish up this video here today. Hope you guys enjoyed the shop tour of the Brompton Junction Specialized Brompton Store here in Singapore. And I'll leave a link down below to our full playlist so you can check out more bike shop tour videos or cycling videos. And we're even doing some food videos here. So thank you guys as always for watching. If you have a suggestion for a place you'd like us to visit in a future video, leave a comment down below. And also a special thank you to all of our awesome supporters over on Patreon. Thanks to your guys' support, we're able to continue filming more videos like this. That's gonna be it for today's video, guys. We'll see you next time here on Tubo Cruise.